welcome to the Darkest Dungeon Mod Spotlight, where I will showcase a modded hero and explain their mechanics. Today, we will be taking a look at The Librarian, created by Balgan Stondrag. Librarian never meant to be a fighter. She is being dragged along by the other heroes anyway. Despite her lack of combat experience, she can offer sage advice or healing medicine to help her allies. In desperate situations, she might rely upon reading the book of forbidden knowledge she carries around for safekeeping. The Librarian is a support and utility hero. She can provide healing and stress healing, as well as a myriad of buffs for her team or debuffs for the enemy. Her main purpose, however, is to level your heroes up faster by providing increased resolve XP for missions that she participates. The Librarian's small frame makes her quick and agile, however it also makes her weak and fragile. Her health, her damage, her stun resistance, and her movement resistance are all below average, whereas her dodge, her speed, her crit, her bleed resistance, her disease resistance, and her debuff resistance are all above average. She is not much of a trap disarmer and her Blight Resistance is also pretty average. The Librarian's first skill is Beat Back. She takes her book and smacks an enemy with it. It has kind of poor accuracy. It has a positive damage modifier of 5 to 25%. However, her base damage is pretty low as it is, so it's not much better. It has a decent crit modifier on top of her already decent base crit, so at least there's that. It pushes the enemy back to and stuns them, though the skill chance for these are pretty low baseline, so if you want to use them more reliably, you're going to need trinkets for it. You'll also notice that it knocks the librarian back to with a 0% base skill chance. This is because the librarian has a set of trinkets that are specific to her that gives her a large bonus to beat back and one of her later skills which i'll talk about that'll make that knockback more reliable it'll knock the enemy back more and it'll make beat back more useful if that's the kind of thing you want to be doing with the librarian Librarian's second skill is Know Thy Enemy. This is her marking ability. It marks the target for three turns. It also debuffs the enemy to take 20 to 40% additional damage for two turns. Despite the fact it says plus 25% damage, that is additional damage taken, not the damage that they deal. Additionally, it buffs the entire party to gain 5% resolve XP for the entire quest. The catch with this buff is that when you camp, it goes away. So if you want the XP, you might camp early or not camp at all. And if you don't want the experience, then clear out the dungeon, save one set of camping supplies, and camp right before you leave. And then you can get rid of it. Regardless, Know Thy Enemy is a pretty strong way to take down high, high health targets, uh, high protection targets, because you can give that bonus damage to a bounty hunter, anyone who benefits from the mark, as well as just flat out increasing the amount of damage they're taking. The Librarian's third skill is Forbidden Chant. This hits all enemies for a damage penalty of 75% at rank 1, reduced to minus 60% damage at max rank. It has a decent critical hit modifier. It blights enemies for 1 point for 1 round, scaling up to 3 points for 3 rounds, with a 0% base skill chance. 
like a skill beat back if you have a certain trinket set for the librarian you can increase that blight skill chance significantly additionally the librarian can benefit from the Athenaeum, which would also give more blight skill chance if you wanted to use that the forbidden chant gives the librarian 7 to 20 stress and it debuffs all enemies for 10 to 30 percent reduced damage dealt The Librarian's fourth skill is Peace of Mind. This is her single target stress heal. It heals 6 to 10 stress and buffs your party to get 5% more resolve XP until the end of the quest. That's it. The Librarian's fifth skill is Improvised Tactics. This is a buff to the entire party for a variety of effects depending on what the current battle conditions are. You get 5 to 13 accuracy if you are above 50 light. You get 1 to 5 crit below 51 light. You get 10 to 18 dodge if you're below 10% health. You get 4 to 12 dodge on the first round. You get 4-12% protection after the first round, and everyone gets buffed for 5% resolve XP for the entire quest. This can be an interesting way to boost your party's effectiveness. It, it is worth it alone just for the accuracy and maybe the dodge or the protection. It's a good idea to give her more speed so you can throw out improvised tactics right away on the first round if you want to benefit from that bonus dodge. Otherwise, it's just kind of useful if you don't have much else to do. The Librarian's next skill is Tonics and Tinctures. This is her single target heal. It heals your target for 0 to 1 at rank 1, up to 0 to 3 at max rank. It cures Blight and Bleed. It also gives them regen of 2 points for 2 rounds, scaling up to 6 points for 2 rounds. And it buffs your entire party's resolve XP by 5%. This is a pretty solid heal. Um, the major downside of it is that since most of the heal is from regen, she doesn't get a lot of benefit out of increased healing trinkets. However, the heal over time can be beneficial bringing people off death's door if they have blight or bleed. Well, if they get blighted or bled after she heals them the first time. Because obviously when she uses this, it's going to cure blight and bleed, which can be pretty valuable in certain dungeons. Librarian's last skill is Clingy and Needy. The Librarian is scared of combat, and she will protect herself by any means necessary. And that includes standing behind her allies and holding them between her and the enemy. This will cause the ally to protect the Librarian for two turns. Your ally will be buffed to take 5-25% reduced damage for two turns. This will give them 5-15 to 15 stress, because it's a little stressful to have this small woman holding you in harm's way, even if it's for her own good. And it will grant your ally a stack of block, much like the shield breaker has. This is a good way to protect the librarian if she's being focused or if she's just in, in any sort of danger. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of health so this can help out a lot. 
the extra stress can be annoying to deal with, but she can always fix it later. Um, the buffs and the guards are pretty clutch for protecting the librarian and reducing the amount of damage your frontline takes. The Librarian has a wide variety of possible camping skills to help her allies with. The first one is a good story. For a whopping five time points, she prevents nighttime ambush and all her companions gain 10% virtue chance and 10% death blow resistance for battles. This can be great for keeping your party alive through really tough fights. Maybe they'll survive some hits that they wouldn't have otherwise. Plus, if they do get stressed out, you might get a virtue instead of uh, an affliction. It seems pretty solid if you're in for a rough time. Her next camping skill is Knowledge's Power. For two time points, all of her companions gain 10 accuracy on range skills, 5% scouting chance each, and 5% crit for four battles. They also gain four stress per person. This can be beneficial if you have maybe two other characters using range skills. Uh, the scouting chance is always useful. Crit is always good to help do more damage, keep your stress down. For two time points, it seems not too bad, though you'll have to do a little extra stress healing and one or two battles afterwards. Her next camping skill is Soothing Chatter. Four time points, one companion gains 15% less stress for four battles and removes their mortality debuffs. I wouldn't use this unless someone had mortality debuffs, but if they do, it's always nice to be able to get rid of them. Her last camping skill is A Riddle to Solve. Three time points, companions have a 40% chance to lose 10 stress, a 60% chance to lose 30 stress, and a 20% chance to gain 20 stress. So there can be a wide range of how much stress they gain or lose, but most of the time it's going to be beneficial. A couple of things of note about the librarian. She is non-religious. She benefits from the Athenaeum district, as I mentioned before. She will not work with the Houndmaster because she's afraid of dogs, of course. And the modder, Falgen Stondrag, assures me that soon he will add the werewolf and the good girl modded classes as also not able to work with the librarian because they are also dogs. The Balgan also told me that soon to come the librarian will get sound effects to her skills, uh, new skill icons, camping icons, and voice acting, much like the prophet or the countess has voice acting. Typical skills that I like using on the librarian um, I'll usually equip Know Thy Enemy, Peace of Mind, and tonics, as tinc tonics and Tinctures as her core supporting set. And then I like Forbidden Chant to just do some extra damage. If I had the Trinkets, I would get that Blight as well. But it's a good opener. I like giving her uh, Speed Trinkets so she can go first and blast this out. Alternatively, improvise tactics if your team needs the extra accuracy, a threat highlight, um, and the other protections can be nice at times. And if the librarian is under a lot of threat, maybe you can go with Clingy and Needy to protect her and buff up your allies' defenses at the same time. In conclusion, the librarian is an effective, if adorable, support hero. She can put out significant healing while debuffing critical enemies when necessary. The extra experience she gains isn't always desirable, but it can be avoided by camping before leaving a dungeon. 
When you are late in the game and you need to level new characters, the Librarian can bring them up very quickly with resolve bonuses in excess of 100% for a medium dungeon. I'm not quite sure this is what they meant with the adage, the pen is mightier than the sword, but I'll be damned if the Librarian doesn't try to prove me wrong.